Stephen Humphreys, yeah, five minutes. Sir. You could tell me when I have two minutes left because uh, <coughs> the deputies are trying to get in. Uh, I'll just say very briefly that the, it's nearly 40 years since we've had uh, a proper property tax, uh, which was rates. Uh, the old residential property tax was not national, it was a Dublin tax. Uh, I listened to the contributions earlier on, and it seems to be they can take a kind of a menu and we'll have a wealth tax from France, but not the property tax, and we'll have another tax from somewhere else and not another tax. And I have to say, Deputy Boy Barrett, who's here in the chamber, was actually very balanced during the budget debate when we were talking about the increase in dirt tax, uh, where he says he could see that that is a wealth tax. Yet Sinn Féin couldn't see that's a wealth tax. Uh, I listened to Deputy Alice, uh, and certainly I came from the council chambers uh, with him, and I have that concern, and I have been back in my communities. But Deputy Ellis has to remember he ran a very efficient campaign on don't pay your bin charges. You can't pay and won't pay. And the outcome for that was the privatisation of the waste service in the Dublin area. And now we see, and now, and now we see the effects of that. So I take it with a grain of salt uh, what the two previous deputies have said. I really do. Can, 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 I, can I say in this bill, we now have a commercial and a residential property will be subject to tax to fund local government. The missus section is a tax on land. Can I ask the minister, did he consider, or is he going to consider in future, a tax on land? I welcome the tax would be linked to local services, but I have concerns that the, as the bill is currently framed, the check is handed over uh, down to the custom house with no clarity on how that will be distributed. And I have concerns there, and I want to see future either regulation or legislation that will give percentages and, and think what, what each area will, will take. To me, it's very clear that Dublin will subsidise the rest of the country. Property in Dublin is much more expensive than elsewhere. In most small towns and rural areas, houses will be towards the bottom of the valuation bands. And I do believe in social solidarity. And I do believe that my probably wealthier areas of the uh, country will subsidise others and we pay the same energy charges you know, that you can provide electricity in Dublin cheaper than maybe in Kerry but everybody should get those kind of services at the same rate. But Minister, uh, uh, can I just kind of point something to you and, and I have to say to be honest these are back of the envelope figures so like there is a big er margin of error in it but I don't think they're far wrong. If you take Donegal Approximately 48% of the houses will be valued at below 100,000. Just two minutes, Deputy. Yeah, thank you. So next year, they will be paying 45 euros, which will be a reduction of 54 in the household, 55 euros in the household charge. Mayo will be approximately 43%, will be, banded, will be charged at the 50,000 band. Dublin will have a means value, and I'm talking about the city area rather than the greater county area, of approximate value of average, about mean value of about 300,000. Carroll, Kilkenny, approximately 33% of all homes will be charged at the lower rate. So they'll be charged next year 45 euros, a reduction of 55. And on average, the year after, 90 euros, which will be a reduction of 10 euros. There has to be as I take it, a subsidisation of nas for national, uh, the national purse for uh, to rebalance county budgets, and I accept that. But it, this tax cannot be seen as a, proper, as a Dublin tax, a Cork tax, or a Galway tax. It will be very hard to explain to a homeowner in Ring's End, whose small house is worth more than a mansion in Leitrim, that their property tax will be subsidising hedge cutting in Matter Hamilton. I asked the Minister, has he has he considered whether he would introduce a five euro an acre uh, charge on productive agricultural land? Uh, and has that been looked at? Has he looked at using it as a, an instrument to, to tax brownfield sites and zoned land for residential, which would then allow it to become a targeted tax to ensure that we don't have derelict sites around our around our cities and that we have the over-rezoning of lands in around urban areas. 
Deputy Ellis has, has articulated, and I would have concerns but in relation to the voluntary housing and how, how it's mentioned. Uh, I would have a question whether De Deputy Ellis's figures would be correct. I would work it out that if you, if you do it to you, per unit on a voluntary housing and social housing, it's about two euros a unit. Uh, but that's my back of the thing. I, I'm not too sure how uh, Deputy Ellis worked it out. But I think we, we do need consideration. Minister, when this bill goes through the doll next week, I think we have a period of time to reflect, to fine tune, and to look at how, we, how, how the mechanisms of using it in a, in a fair and a productive way. Um, well, this is in itself a form of wealth tax. Uh, Minister, I, I would welcome to hear your responses at a later stage in, uh, in the debate on this. Well, Deputy Robert Jones.